It's nice when you guys aren't stressed out. 59 minutes. It'll make it quick. <laughs> oh, no. We got all the time in the world. I, uh, I thought the Huskers came out and played great tonight. The crowd was really electric tonight. And I think when we made a couple of those defensive plays in the crowd, Harper ran in the scorer's table. Um, I just think it, I mean, it just went through the roof. And we just feel the energy. And, and I just thought our team just got, you know, came out attacking and attacked all, all three games and really wore them down, you know, in game three. And uh, so it's a great effort on our, our side. And uh, we'll take it. Merritt and Andy said it felt, you know, as dominant on the floor as it looked. I mean, did the team feel pretty confident throughout the match with what you saw? I mean, I, we, we've been really working hard on the mindsets, just next point, win the next point. And I think they just stayed r really focused on that. And we got, we got that bad run in game two, and they were able to come back. And actually, you know what? We came back, got it close, and then got a point ahead. And, and I think that was a huge momentum shift to win that game. I think we had a ton of confidence after that because that, that game got away from us with uh, um, Ruben served. It was really tough, and I mean, she just made a big run on us. So and then she really didn't hurt us the rest of the night. So yeah. again, like I said, it's great next point mentality by our team tonight. Can you remember many instances where you give up and they don't run and still win the set? No. Is that what it was? And they don't, are you kidding me? Yeah. Do you feel like you learn a lot more from your team when they bounce back from an eight-o run like that? Uh, that uh, I didn't realize it was eight-o. I mean, when you're sitting there, you know, you just please side out. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that, but we had a little lead we start that. So, uh, but again, I think that's credit to them. They didn't. They didn't. It didn't tank them. They didn't start getting frustrated. They just stayed with it point by point, and we we made adjustments on her. And like I said, I don't think she had another point. Maybe I don't think she scored another point the rest of the match after that. Maybe one, but uh, again, that's credit to our team. Do you feel like your serving really made them a little more outside hitter dependent early on? Especially? Yeah, we were. Troy, Troy came up to me afterward and he says, I'm an amateur, but it looked like you guys were serving really tough tonight. And we came out serving tough. And, you know, everybody talks about how tough Stanford serves. So I think I think for our team, we wanted to say, hey, we're, we're a good serving team too. And we, we, we did a really nice job with it. And I think I think got them on their heels a little bit. And, um, but, you know, they got, some, they got some really nice players that are very talented. John, this isn't just another one. This is handing there their first loss of the season um, against the number two team in the country. What does it say for your group at this point in the season? Yeah, I, I don't know yet. <laughs> I just, uh, and you're always looking for matches to, to help you believe and, you know, to see what, how they can play. Uh, of course, I tell them that all the time, what, what the level we can play at. And, you know, they, they proved it tonight. You know, now, now the challenge is going to be Sunday. You know, how are we going to handle that? It's going to be a morning match on the road, and uh, and they're going to have a big crowd there. So we're going to flip it. So this will be another great test for us. But um, these guys like playing against great teams, and they showed it tonight. You mentioned that crowd that you're going to have to deal with, and it's, it's going to be a ferocious one, as you had said earlier this week. What's it like coaching when you're when you have the crowd not for you like it is at the bottom? Yeah, we, we just we have to rely on each other. So it'll be a great opportunity for us to really, we just got to look at each other and block it all out. And, um, <clears throat> you know, um, and, and, we're, and it's going to be a great prep for the Big Ten because we're going to have to, every, probably every place we go is going to be sold out in the Big Ten. So it's a, this will be a great preparation for us. And, you know, at SMU we didn't handle it very well, so we get another shot. How have you felt about your defense before tonight, and how did you feel about your defense tonight? I thought we were really well prepared tonight. Jalen did a great job, and uh, I thought we executed our game plan really, really well. How did you feel about your defense before tonight this year? I felt I've been saying, telling Jalen why we, you know, last year at this time we were holding teams 0-52, and he says it was a tougher schedule this year. Well, he held Stanford point one hundred, so that is a pretty good feat. That's a really good feat, really good. Yeah. I mean, they're hitting 313 on the year against playing all sprank teams, pretty much. Really good job.
coaches a lot of familiar faces when you go to play in Louisville. Does it make that match any different or just uh, another day in the office? It's just another opportunity, and uh, you know they came last time we played them. They came here and got us, so we get another shot. You uh, make it a little bit louder in the practice gym to prepare for an atmosphere at your place. Uh, no, no, because I, I can't take it. <laughs> Seriously, I tell them to turn down the music. You know, uh, uh, no, I can't. We're used to it. It's just. The question: How do we how do we handle? Uh, you know, we'll handle the noise. This question: How do we handle it when it's more of it's going for our opponent? Uh, but we're used to it. But no, I, I need peace and quiet. <laughs> so we're not like football of having the sound system out there, which is pretty cool. They did. A, I think it's pretty cool. But you know, they're trying to do signals and all that. We're we're just we're used to it playing in these environments. Anything else? I mean, in a game like this against a really good team, like how important is controlling the momentum for you guys? Well, it's in, in volleyball, momentum's everything. And so being able to hold it and keep it, and then when you lose it, get it back, that's the key. And that's what we did tonight in game two. We lost it and got it back. And that's why we were able to really keep it going in game three. What would you say you're most proud of of your team's efforts tonight? Our middle blockers and, and our effort on defense. Those are some sick plays. I mean, those are ESPN highlight plays. So, or heard that sports plays. You guys can, you guys can, what, you know, what do you do it? Instagram. I don't know. I, I'm into TikTok now. So, <laughs> <laughs> they're telling me I can start making money on TikTok. Yeah. Is there so, one coming tonight? There's one that happened this afternoon, uh, in, right after pregame. Yeah. Okay, it's nice. like so stupid, but <laughs> it'll have 250,000 hits, and they're telling the girls are telling me I can start making money. So I'm I'm looking for deals. I don't know. Those guys are crazy. I mean, how they do this stuff. So I don't know. Harper takes my phone, and I just do what I'm told and try to smile. So, <laughs> but anyway. But I'm not doing one with less merits there because I trust merit will make sure I don't get really embarrassed. <laughs> All right, good. Thanks for being here, guys.